OK, we're continuing our football club history series. We're looking at Barnsley Football Club, nicknamed the Tykes. They were founded in 1887 by the Reverend Tiverton Preedy and were named Barnsley St. Peter's Football Club and used to play in blue. So their initial uh, club strip was blue until 1904. They've been playing at Oakwell since around 1888, so about a year after uh, foundation, currently with a capacity of 23,287. Now, the year after foundation and the year they moved to Oakwell, the Football League is set up. Two years after foundation, the Football Alliance is set up. Now, some of their rivals are Football Alliance clubs. That would then go over to the Football League when the Football Alliance goes belly up. So we'll discuss their rivals in due course. South Yorkshire is rugby country, soon to become rugby league country. So football is the minority sport in this part of the world. So it's an amazing achievement that Barnsley are a, one of the oldest clubs in Yorkshire, not called Sheffield Wednesday, who are older, um, and, and B, that um, they established themselves during a great time of upheaval in the sporting world. Because the year before they joined the Football League in 1898, the Northern Rugby Union splits, which becomes rug the Rugby Football League, from the RFU. They split, and Rugby League becomes the dominant sport of Yorkshire, Barnsley Football Club. Now, they joined the Football League in 1898. They changed their strip colours, as I said, from the, their original blue to red and white in 1904. They appear in two FA Cup finals as a second division side, winning one, losing the other. So they lose to Newcastle and beat West Brom in the FA Cup. We'll discuss their honours later on. But it takes them 99 years to get to the top flight. They have one top flight season in the 97-98 season in the Premier League. That is it. They've only had one season in the top flight. But this is very interesting. They hold the record of the most seasons and the most matches played in the old second division, which is now known as the Championship. Now, whether they hold on to that record permanently or add to that record, we shall wait and see because they're currently in League One. Another key momentous period in the history of the club, and I've mentioned this in other videos, is the collapse of ITV Digital. The collapse of ITV Digital had a massive impact on British sport, much like the collapse of Satanta. The collapse of ITV Digital led to the club in 2002 entering administration by the then owner, John Dennis. Now, the club was saved from basically collapse Within, a, within about five, six months, and were eventually sold in 2003. But in the October of 2002, the future for the club, considering they'd only been a Premier League club four years before, was in serious doubt. So 21 years ago, the club was in serious financial difficulty. They're a much better financial situation now, but the financial difficulties back then were very, very serious. Now let's have a look at their honours. They've only ever lost one final in, in a cup final. They've never won the league. They've only ever won. Well, lost, should I say, one cup final. So, their honours. They've won the FA Cup once, been runners-up once. Both times as a second division side. They've won the Football League trophy once. They've only ever appeared in one final in that. And they've won the League One playoffs twice. They've never lost a playoff final. So, actually, when they go to Wembley, or in the old FA Cup days back before Wembley was built, a neutral ground, they've only ever lost one cup final. So they win the 1911-1912 FA Cup as a Division 2 side against West Bromwich Albion, who are a far more successful side. And they were runners-up only a couple of years before against Newcastle United uh, in the 1909-1910 season. Now, they've only spent that one season in the top flight in their history, but they've won the Football League trophy as a lower division club in the 2015-2016 season. They also have appeared in the League One playoff final twice. They won it in 2006 and in 2016. So when they actually get to a cup final, they generally win. Now, their biggest rivals, as I mentioned, Sheffield Wednesday, who are an older club, one of the oldest clubs in existence. Sheffield United, a club just a little bit younger. Leeds United, everyone is a rival with Leeds United. Huddersfield Town, another rugby league-centric location. And Huddersfield... The birthplace of rugby league, uh, very successful football league side in their early days. First club, as I say, as I've said before, to win three league titles in a row. And Rotherham United, another team from the South Yorkshire area, just up the road, just around near Sheffield. They're their biggest rivals. Now, Barnsley obviously have had a lack of success, but then you have to consider they're in rugby league country. In fact, all their rivals are in rugby league country. The fact that any of these clubs 
have had success is amazing in the footballing world, considering that football is classed as the second class sport in Yorkshire, traditionally. You know, in more modern times, football's overtaken rugby league, but in the early days, it was rugby league was first, football was second, sometimes third, because Yorkshire have got a pretty good cricket side as well. Rotherham is the only club that hasn't had any major silverware. All the other clubs, their major rivals, have all won the league or the FA Cup, or both, or even the League Cup. Now, Barnsley, yeah, lack of success. Only one major trophy, one minor trophy, and two playoff finals. But they've done better than a lot of other clubs. A lot of other clubs have struggled, uh, historically, to get any success. So the fact they've got a major trophy in there, and only have ever lost one cup final, is a fantastic thing. For basically, a club that everyone overlooks and forgets about. They are forgotten uh, by a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people don't realise they've had that one season in the Premier League. Um, it's a shame it couldn't have been more, but, you know, obviously it is what it is. But they do hold that record of the most seasons in the second division, and the most matches played in the second division. Um, but, yeah, they've had some tough times. They've had some good times. They've had some very consistent times. And historically, they're, they're pretty much your bog standard, low, you know, pretty, you know, regional club. Uh, with a, a local regional fan base who have overachieved in their history, considering that football in that part of the world, historically and traditionally, is the secondary sport behind traditionally rugby and then rugby league. So there we go. There's a brief history of Barnsley Football Club, uh, and we'll have some more content for you very, very soon.